Hello and welcome. Today we are continuing our journey to tuning the strings of our life experience. And for those of you who didn't catch that episode, what this means is like tuning the facets of your life, like your health, your relationships, your purpose, your passion, your prosperity. When we bring those into harmony, we unlock a whole new level of potential and really unlock our ability to truly play beautiful music throughout every aspect of our life. In the previous episode, we talked about the A string, which was about tuning the A string. It's about activating the prosperity in your life. That's our true inherent nature. And if you haven't had a chance to check out that episode, I invite you to make sure you go back and to tune into that one. Today, we're moving on to the D string. And the D string is all about discovering and expressing your life purpose. You came here with a song, with a passion, with a calling, with an authentic self that is meant for you to express into the world and to shine and reflect that light and to play that music that's within you. And quite honestly, you're never going to find full fulfillment and joy without being true to that facet of your life. So one of the questions that often arises is like, well, how do I know when I'm out of tune? How do I know when I'm not in alignment with my purpose and my passion? Well, quite often it shows up as discontent. Quite often there's this question that reverberates within us that, you know, God, you know, I know I'm here for something more. I know there's got to be more to life than what it is that I'm currently doing and how I'm currently expressing myself. And you really start to ask those questions. And I know this from firsthand experience. As many of you know, I'm a recovered CEO. I was in the high tech world for 19 years, you know, ascended up the corporate ladder uh, because I felt that that was what I was here to do. That's what life was all about, right? That's what we're told. We go to school, we get a job, we work our way up, we make more bank. And the more bank we make, the happier, the more fulfilled we're going to be. And I'd done all that. But the last five years of that career, this little voice started reverberating within me saying, you know what? There's got to be something more to commission checks. There's got to be something more than just selling computer chips, which was what I was doing at the time. There has to be something more to life. And then as I kind of ignored it and shooed it away, it began to amplify. And we live in a time right now where many people are getting an amplified message to be true to their authentic self, to be true to their passion and their calling. You see, I'd always had a passion and a calling. I wanted to become, back then, a motivational speaker. I wanted to help people to unlock their potential and realize this extraordinary power that's within each and every one of us. I always loved helping people to transcend challenges and obstacles Definitely something I wanted to find a way to do it, but you know, I had to be responsible. How could I walk away from a multi-million dollar business to do something like that? You know, and this conflict went on for years till it finally got to the point where I could no longer ignore it and realize that, you know what? They can't pay me enough money to sacrifice my soul. I'm here for something more. So I took the ultimate leap of faith and began my journey and ultimately stepping into doing music and energy healing. And yes, speaking, I had plenty of time to do that and, and continue to do that through these videos and to share. And But ultimately wanting to help people to restore harmony to their lives, unlock their potential, and really step into the next greater and grander version of who and what they are. That's always been my passion. So you might ask the question, well, what can I do? Well, first of all, my big piece of advice would be don't quit your day job. Okay, I did that, which was great. Hey, that's what I needed to do for me. But it did cause a lot of stress. It did cause a lot of upheaval. It did cause a lot of pain making that transition from a career to fulfilling my calling. So whether or not you have a day job or whether or not you already have a a career doing your purpose, Begin to play with what it is that you have. What lights you up? What ignites your spirit? What can you do that just fires you up and just makes you feel so good? There's an inkling. There's an opening to your purpose and your passion in life. 
and to start to play with that on a part-time basis if you do have the full-time gig. And if you're already doing your purpose and your passion in your work, but yet you're still feeling that discontent, still feeling like, you know what, I'm not doing this at the level I know I'm capable of. Then you've got to make that commitment to amplifying your signal, to turning up the volume knob on your expression so that you can touch more lives, so that you can impact the people around you. It is so important to bring that to fruition. You've got to play the passion string in one way, shape, form, or another. You've got to be true to that. Even if you can only do it on the weekends, you've got to schedule it in and integrate time. And what's going to happen, it's going to start igniting something within you. It's going to ignite a passion. It's going to bring back into harmony that facet of who and what you are. And perhaps maybe the day will come when you leave your day job. Maybe it won't. But maybe you can be true to both at the same time. And that's a beautiful thing. And ultimately, you have to tune into your higher guidance to determine if that's the case for you, because I am definitely not encouraging anybody to quit their day job and go express their purpose. Not until the timing's right. Not until you've set some things up in place. Don't be like me where I just, I just jump. Yeah, I'm jumping, man. Part of my path, part of my learning. And ultimately, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I hadn't gone to such drastic measures to tune that facet of my life. So I wanted to share a little activation here to activate the purpose, the passion in your life that's within you, that song, that light, that just wants to be expressed, it wants to be shared. Whether you have a job or not is irrelevant. The important thing is that you're true to that. And if you are doing this and you've got a lot of time and resources to put into it, then ask the question, how can I amplify it? How can I stop playing small? Because whether it's on a part-time basis or a full-time basis, the world wants you to be true to who and what you are. It wants you to shine your light. So I invite you to sit down, get into a meditative state, breathe in some notes here and there, and Ask these questions if you're not clear on what that is. And if you are clear, ask how you can amplify, how you can take it to the next level. This is what's going to help you to restore harmony in this essential facet of our lives, especially nowadays, because I think more and more of us are coming up against how the old way of doing things just doesn't work anymore. And there's something greater and grander for us to express into. I got that calling 20 years ago, but I see many, many people dealing with that today. And I just want to encourage you to play with your passion, to play with your purpose, to integrate that into your life, to amplify it if you're already doing it, and look to see what begins to open up for you. So I invite you to just take some nice deep breaths, I'm going to play some notes. I want you to imagine breathing them in, setting the intention to um, really discover and express your life purpose in the most beautiful and the most powerful and the most fully expressed way possible. It's such a door opener in so many beautiful ways. So with that being said, take some nice deep inhales.
take a deep breath to truly play beautiful music throughout your life. You're going to have to discover your purpose, why you came here to play the game of life. What is it that's special about you, your uniqueness to express into the world? And so if you're feeling those feelings of discontent, if you're feeling like there's something more that needs to come out of you to be birthed into your experience, that's a sign that your purpose string, the D string, is out of tune and that you need to take action. And if you're already doing this and you're feeling that discontent, like maybe you're just playing small ball and you need to expand, start asking that question and inquire. How can I amplify my signal? How can I shine more light into the world? Imagine what would open up in the world today if all of us were true to our authentic selves, to our passions, our purposes, our callings in life. I think we would see a much different experience. So I'd love to hear what showed up for you out of this experience. Perhaps you maybe just breathing in those notes. What is it that moved for you? Are you being true to your passion? Are you being true to your calling? Are you playing it small to try to keep yourself safe or maybe perhaps, you know, prevent from being ridiculed or judged in some way or another? I'd love to hear your comments and look to see what showed up for you out of that process and that experience. Um, and I also want to challenge you. Look for more ways to express your purpose, your passion, the things that light you up that you love to do. If you love to cook, you know, start shooting some videos and post them on YouTube or TikTok or whatever rocks your boat. You know, get it out there and express it and to share it. Share what gives you joy. Share what ignites your spirit. And once again, if you'd like to tune in for more mindsets, a little bit of music and energy healing work to support you in playing more beautiful music in your life, I invite you to subscribe to this challenge, uh, channel. And I want to encourage you to continue to push the threshold of your discomfort and continue to express the truth of who and what you are. The world wants to see your light. The world wants to hear your music. Do so, and you'll be amazed at what opens up for you in your experience. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Have a harmonious day.